Ibrahim alayhi salam, did he build the Kaaba or did he raise the Kaaba? Difference of opinion. Some of them said the Malaika established the Kaaba. Some of them said Adam alayhi salam established the Kaaba. And some of them said that Ibrahim alayhi salam established the Kaaba. One of the views or one of the arguments to support the view that it wasn't Ibrahim, the Qawaid which were already there, is and I'm just mixing up the evidences, but one of them here is that the Kaaba must have already been there if he's lifting up the foundations. The foundations are already there, he's just building upon the foundations. But also the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu said that all the Anbiya and Rusul have performed the Hajj. So that basically means before Ibrahim alayhi salam, people were already visiting the house. So Ibrahim alayhi salam, did not establish the Kaaba according to a view, and for me that seems to be stronger. Why is that important? This is important because the children and the progeny of Sam spread in that region. The Kaaba was already there. From the children of uh, Adam, السلام, we've got Nuh. They're visiting the Kaaba, performing Hajj. Perhaps not in the way that we've got it, but they performed Hajj. And the Kan'aniyun settled in Bayt al Maqdis. Then they left. For Canaan, the land of Beit al-Maqdis. They lived there for a while in Haran, the land of the Chaldeans. I don't know if that's how you say it at that time. And then they lived in the lands of the Arabian Peninsula and Syria. So it was known as the Arabian Peninsula at that time. How? Because the progeny of Sam were the pure, original Arabs. And they dispersed in the land. And a group of them, who were known as the Kan'aniyun, or the Canaanites, Beit al-Maqdis. So now, again, very important and timely, and it's important that we understand our religion and our tarikh and our tafsir, that these people who are there right now in Gaza, in the West Bank, etc., a lot of these people, their lineage goes all the way back to the Qur'aniyun. So for a group of people to come afterwards and say, no, we have more right to this land because of something else that happened in history far, far afterwards, because Ibrahim alayhi salam, goes to stay with the Qur'aniyun. So now you're saying that you're from the lineage of Ibrahim alayhi salam, when Ibrahim alayhi salam already established that there were already Arabs there. Understand that point? So then you can't come out and say, right, it's ours. 